There's a very interesting story behind my name, actually. My grandfather passed away a month before I was born. And he told my mother, it's going to be a boy and name him. You have to name him Vikram. And it was a boy, which is me. And they named me Vikram. <laughs> Every time we went on family holidays, and they were mainly day trips into like to see the Taj Mahal or to see the Red Fort in New Delhi or the Lotus Temple, my parents would take a point and shoot camera. And I just took it as a matter of fact, like this happens in life, like there is this device that captures images. But then one day, my aunt was visiting, my parents were not home, and I knew where the camera was, and I knew where the button was that they pressed all the time to take pictures. I just told my aunt, you, you, you lie down on the bed. And, you know, I was a kid, so she agreed, and she was like, okay, well, what do you want to do? I took out the camera, and I went click, 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 when my parents sent the film roll for printing, <laughs> out came 30 odd frames of my aunt in exactly the same pose. They were not horizontal, they were not vertical, they were like somewhere in the m middle. It was a very funny experience, but I think I felt a very slight semblance of a photographer. I, I was like, I've done that. I, I actually felt I have created something. Art is, it is an expression of creativity and of the self. So I think that there is something very opposite between art and what's happening in, in today's world. One is creativity, one forces you to think. And the other one is destruction. When you're playing with nature, you're destroying the climate, you're destroying the nature. When you're treating animals badly, you're destroying their being, their soul. So I think art and uh, these, all these issues that are going on in, in this world, they are on the complete extreme ends of the spectrum. One is creativity, one is destruction. And if you look up the dictionary, these two are opposites of each other. So for me, the most important thing is for people to have an artistic side. I think that is the most important thing for me. And it can be you can express whatever you want. It doesn't have to be that you're directly dealing with those political or social or environmental issues through your art, no. If, I think if you have an artistic side, the destructive side goes down. I want to, in a way, relive my childhood through my photographs. And I think that's always my subconscious intention. Thankfully, I was in a boarding school and I used to spend eight or nine months a year in the boarding school. And I was, all, I was like a free range child. I didn't have teachers running around me all the time. I didn't have my parents running around me all the time. So I had this really freedom of mind and space and body to explore the world in my own way. And I owe a lot of my artistic side of my being to, to that time that free range time and I can almost guarantee if a child is brought up in a free range way they will end up with this artistic side for life but it has to be nurtured it can't be shut down parents teachers or whoever the adults are around the child they have to give that mental space to the child yeah. thinks I take magical pictures that's how she describes it of women 
this up in the air, floating in the air. <laughs> she doesn't like it so much. She wants me to take pictures, beautiful pictures of flowers. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I, I owe everything I am to them.